Are you prepared for a major move to the downside on Bitcoin? Well, in this video, I'm going to be preparing you for that big move to the downside, some juicy short trade setups, and reminding you, if you have not been gathering your statistics and paying attention for Bitcoin over the years, that June actually is an extremely volatile month. But not only that, but where we put in major pivots on the Bitcoin chart. So towards the end of this month, you have to be aware of the historic events that have happened at the end of June and how we can be looking forward for it once more. Okay, so I'm going to be preparing you, getting you with a plan and making that plan ready for profits. So I hope that you really enjoyed the video. And with that said, let's get into what you're here for and the analysis. I'm actually going to present fairly complex analysis in a really easy to understand, simple, digestible way. So first of all, let's state some facts. We have been in now multi-month sideways range. So we are going through monthly consolidation right now, okay, where we really simply have a range high up at around $74,000 and a range low around $56,000. The middle of this channel is, of course, coming in at around $65,000. So what is the significance of this? Okay, when we start to zoom out, of course, we are in a large uptrend. This is a class as a very bullish move. So consolidation, extended consolidation within a bull market is totally normal. There is nothing that screams, this is really, really bearish. So as I mentioned at the start of the video, should we be prepared for a major move to the downside? Absolutely, we should be. But should we necessarily be expecting with the highest probability that a major move to the downside is of the highest probability? The answer for that would currently be no. But what is the major factor of a trader which helps us get high win rates, which helps us make consistent profits. It's by reacting and updating our biases and trades with the new data that comes in. So currently at the time of making this video, we are still above the middle of our sideways monthly consolidation parallel channel. So while we are above, I really want to say $64,000, okay, because we have to allow for a little bit of scope in terms of wicks on such a highly volatile and leveraged market. So we can view this as a bit of a zone. While we are above $64,000, we can still be looking for this continuation to the upside. Okay, and when we zoom out, we can say this is still healthy consolidation within a bull market. but. Everything ends at some point. Nothing remains uh, upwards forever. And that is where we have to start to recognize weakness. We have already got acceptance into one form of weakness, which is losing the range point of control, a major level for myself, by the way. But what is this step now, part number two of really confirming this breakdown as we enter this week of trading? It would be breaking below the middle of the channel at around $64,000. That is going to give us a confirmation of losing the range point of control, losing the middle of the channel, getting no bullish reaction or fake out off of that zone of support. And it really would confirm a move down to at least the range value area low, which we can simply add on now to be aware of. OK, released the range point of control, which comes in at 63,300. But what we're always going to be looking to ourselves is, OK, what do we have in terms of confluence here? First thing we'd always be looking for is the CC. Then we would start to add on some very standard higher term time frame levels. You can see at the value area low, what do we have? We don't have the Fibonacci. You do have a naked point of control, $63,687. At this CC, the low of the CC, you have the weekly at $61,400. But this, at this point, you have lost then the range point of control, the range value area low. The context behind this is a lot of weakness. And for me, we've already confirmed one level of weakness, which was the loss. And you can even see the perfection here, right? Support off a range point of control, support off a range point of control, support, lost, flipped into resistance retested as resistance. So we've currently lost the support of the range point of control and retested it as resistance. So what we would have to be aware of is if we come down to 64, 
500, let's say, and we start to get a bounce, is do we then flip the middle of our parallel channel into resistance? Because if we are continuously support resistance flipping, well, then if we make our way down to the bottom of this channel, okay, sorry, towards the bottom of the overall channel at the weekly in CC, could it end in a nice local long trade? Yes. But what we would need to be aware of is, is a bounce off of the weekly. So if I just hide this up to make it clear, would be a bounce off of the weekly, but only to see that bounce flip the value area low into resistance, which then confirms a major, major sign of weakness. We've already seen a few at that point. Loss of the range point in control, loss of the middle of the channel, then loss of the range value area low. That would be very strong confluence and probabilities and confirmation for even lower to come. So you can see how we start to build up a picture here. OK, this picture is simply based off of technical analysis and it's based off of giving us a perspective that is not only uh, allowing us to understand probabilities, but is tradable. OK, and I will always say this. I am not scared to pull a long trade that say it's sixty thousand dollars, even though that would have had confirmation of weakness. Absolutely. Yes, that would be confirmed weakness. But I wouldn't be scared to long a good setup here even just to take it into the lower high for downtrend continuation. So you have to be aware that even where we've got a bearish big picture with weakness, there's still longs to be had. Just as during this rise, there have been shorts to be had, right? And most obvious right now, right, in terms of a short trade, of course, would be the uh, swing fair pattern of Sunday's high, of course, the CME open zone uh, into the range point of control. OK, if we start to reclaim that, then guess what? The strength of the overall trend is still there and we can be looking back up to all time highs. You see how I'm analyzing this? It's a perspective of continuously updating probabilities and continuously updating my bias based off of the data and probabilities that we see. Of course, what I'm using for this primarily is the chart itself combined with the order flow. OK, and I will just remind you that this is my conservative trading account. This is where I feel I'm taking only the best trades. And as always, I've promised you full account transparency, full honesty, showing you each and every trade that I've taken. Uh, the last two trades you saw on stream for me was a Pepe and Rune Long. In the end, getting out of those trades at pretty much break even. And this just goes to show you that even though we are seeing the altcoins down 15, 10 percent, 10 percent down, 10% down. Everything's pretty much down heavily. Bitcoin's down heavily. But my account is still only up. Still on a 100% win rate. Still winning every trade I'm taking. Waiting patiently for the best setups. Good entry trigger. Get in. Lock in my take profits. Move my stop loss up to entry. That is the tactics that I'm going for. So I'm able to take a lot of long trades even in this downtrend that we're in locally, and while the results and the evidence is here in front of your face, I'm able to walk away with a crazy win rate, very nice profits. Remembering this account is only trading between two and three thousand dollars. So with only two to three thousand dollars, you know, some positions are two thousand, two thousand two hundred, two thousand five hundred, two thousand nine hundred, but between two and three thousand dollar position sizes across the board, we're walking away with one thousand dollars just over of profit in three weeks of trading since I created this account. What am I doing now? I'm remaining patient for another good trade setup to come to me. I'm not rushing into something. I'm not being aggressive because this is, of course, my conservative trading account. I am waiting patiently for those A star plus setups based off of my statistics, my strategies, and exactly what I am going to be doing next is waiting on Bitcoin to show me a loss of the middle of the channel with either then a fake out of a 64,500 and reclaim. That for me is signaling major long opportunities. Or we hold up the higher low and we get a retest off of $67,000, which for me is key up to $67,700, which is the upper range point of control. If you move this back a few pivots, okay, you can see there. Uh, 67,800. So for me, that is the way that I am approaching the next few days of trading. Am I prepared for a major move to the downside? Yes, I, I am. Am I prepared for a major move to the upside? 
Yes, I am. I know how to extract profits in this market. My track record, full account, uh, you know, transparency is in front of you. These are the trades that I'm taking. This is the profits that I'm making. I am happy to see a move to the downside. I'm happy to see a move to the upside. All I need is volatility, movement, and I can extract profits from this market. If you want to learn exactly what I'm doing here, the strategies I'm using, the way I'm growing my accounts, why I'm placing my entries where they are, the invalidations, the stop losses, the take profits, I'm teaching all of this via chartchampions.com. This is our platform where we got daily live streams, we got live trading streams where we come in and take the street trades live on stream. The whole educational library from beginner to master, you can understand everything about the trading, the way we do it in a one-stop shop for everything trading related. And of course you have the trading community on top of that inside of the Discord. So yeah, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I hope I've broken it down in an easy to understand way. You have to understand trading is not easy, it is complex, but by breaking it down into small chunks, easy, relatively easy to understand, you can actually start to recognize the levels to be patience, towards where you have high probabilities, nice confluence and good entry triggers. And that's what I'm all about is those good high probability entry triggers. So yeah, that's the account. That's the account growth. I'll go alive again this week to continue trading this. I hope that you've really enjoyed. And if you have, you know what to do, hit that like button, leave a comment down below, and I will see you in the next video or over on the website if you want to see me later today. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Thank you ever so much. And that's me signing out. Thank you, Anne. Goodbye. Cheers.